Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I am going to show how to apply variable load in ETABS. One of my viewer he requested to show how to apply variable load, so that's why I am going to show that one. So let's start here on this beam. I want to apply variable load. I will change the view. I'll select that beam. Here is the symbol assign frame distributed load. This is the load pattern type dead. Here is the variable load option. There are two options: one relative distance from end one, and another is absolute distance from end one. So here, end one or first end will be the point from where we have modeled this beam first joint to second joint if we draw this beam from here to here then this is the first end and that's it. that is the last end this side if we draw this beam from here to here then this is the first end and this is the last end so we will check which one is the first end first we will see relative distance this is zero distance 0.25 of this total length 0.75 of this total length and this is the full length at the end here for suppose this is 10 feet then this is this 25 into 10 equal to 2.5 feet then this 7.5 feet and this one 10 feet at the end so here if we put 200 400 600 pound per feet then we will apply we will see this is the load variation now this is if we want to get the uniform variable that means this line will be uniformly gradient then this we have to change 33 66 that means there are three division 3 into 1 3 1 divided by 3 equal to 0.33 for each part 0 to 33 33 to 66 then to 100 percent is 100 percent so we'll ap apply we'll say this one apply so this this is the 0 to 600 uniform shape so now if we want to apply only this part then we will see how we will do it we will first break this one break okay now this one we will make it zero now here if this is here this is the here is the point here the load value it is showing if we want to apply only in this portion that same load 0 to 600 now we will see 200 400 600 here 66 33 now apply so this is the problem. So now as this is the main beam, on this beam there another beam is resting on. If we want to merge this beam, there will be no problem. This load will be kept same. See, we have merged this beam, but the load is applying on this from here to here. So in this way. We can apply variable load in e -tabs. Thanks for watching. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.